Hey y'all, welcome to Kamira's Kitchen. Today we are going to be getting right into it, okay? I'm going to be making some stuffed bell peppers. I had somebody request this so long ago, and baby, please forgive me. All right, it's taken me quite a while to get to this request, but this recipe does not disappoint. Not only is it easy, but to me, I think it's really healthy and it is delicious. Now, if you're one of those people who don't just eat the stuffing, okay, and you actually eat that pepper, right? I think that this is such a complete meal because you have your vegetable, you have your protein and the beef, as well as your carb and the rice and a little bit of dairy. If you so choose to use that, all in one delicious pepper. So I'm gonna start by cutting the tops off of those peppers and I like to trim the edges because I am not throwing any of that away. All right, you're gonna see me later chop that up for the stuffing. Then I'm gonna cut a large onion in half and I am going to dice that up. I like to cut that like a medium dice, all right? That's another vegetable we're putting up in here, all right? But you know it has flavor. Now, if you are one of those people that pick out the onions in your food, let me know in the comments because so many people tell me they do not like onions and I don't know what has possessed y'all to think that, all right, y'all taste buds is broke. And you're too old to be picking out onions and peppers from your food. Next, I'm going to smash and finally chop up some garlic, and then I'm going to take all those little bits of the pepper that I cut from around the stem, and we're going to cut those up too. We're going to have a pepper stuffed in pepper situation, okay? No vegetables left behind. Now, I don't want my peppers to be super crunchy, so I'm going to pre-bake them a little bit. I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes just to take the edge off of them a little bit. While they are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this filling. I'm using a pound of lean beef, but you could use turkey, chicken, bison, deer, whatever type of animal you like ground up. And if you're vegan, use that vegan stuff, okay? I'm gonna use my spatula to crumble this up. I know they sell those like meat crumblers that you can use to make the bits really small, but I don't like having things that can only serve one purpose around my kitchen. I remember back in the day, Alton Brown called these unitaskers. Like they literally can do one thing, but sometimes it's not even something you need to do really often, like an avocado slicer. You get what I'm trying to say? When it's cooked and it's about three fourths of the way done, that's when I'm going to put in all of my vegetables and I'm going to also add my seasonings. I'm using a bit of beef bouillon, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, garlic and herb seasoning, pepper. Honestly, you can use whatever seasonings you like, but you do want this to taste nice and flavored. I'm also putting in eight ounces of tomato sauce. This is going to help hydrate the rice when we add it. And you know that it's not a Kamir's Kitchen recipe if I don't put in some fresh herbs. You know, if there's not fresh herbs in there, did I really cook for you? Probably not, okay? So I'm gonna add in some chopped up fresh parsley as well as some thyme, a little bit of basil. These are all fresh from my garden, but if you don't have them like growing in your yard, you don't have to use them because y'all, they doing daylight robbery with the prices they putting on fresh herbs in them grocery stores. So I'm gonna add a bit of that W sauce as well as some water from the can just to make sure that cup of rice I put in there is nice and hydrated. And again, I'm putting in some more fresh herbs and thyme is one of my favorites. This is completely optional, but you can add some cheese inside of the stuffing. I put in two slices of Munster cheese. Don't get overboard with it, okay? Don't add more than one or two slices because you don't want it to be extremely cheesy. Well, unless you want it to be extremely cheesy, but I don't want it to be too much. I just like adding in a touch for a bit of flavor. At this point, my peppers have finished cooking, so I'm gonna take them out and place them on the counter. And we are going to immediately start stuffing the peppers. I'm going to divide the stuffing into four. So I'm going to put one fourth of the mixture inside of each one. Instead of cutting the top off of your peppers, you can instead choose to cut them straight down the middle so that you end up having eight peppers. And if you do that, just make sure you divide your stuffing over eight and that you have more slices of cheese that you place on the top. 
I'm putting a little bit of water in the pan just to help that cheese melt and it'll also help further cook the bottom of the pepper. I'm going to put this back into the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is melted and it looks nice and hot and golden and delicious. I let them rest for about five minutes before cutting into them. And now I'm going to let you all see the inside. Y'all, I know this ain't the cutest looking pepper, but honey, it is daggone delicious. Let me know if you're going to try this and what sides you're going to add with this. I added a little salad and baby, this was perfect. You guys know I love you and Jesus loves you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.